Welcome to Geopolitical Ryzen. Today we'll look at EU-Russian relations. Yesterday, the EU decided to impose sanctions on four Russian officials linked to the arrest of Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition politician. This is probably going to be known as a low point in EU-Russian relations, as the EU side has imposed sanctions on Russia over the last years since Russia intervened in Crimea in 2014. This negative relationship between the EU and Russia is driving Russia to focus increasingly on Asia and towards China, as they have been doing for several years, and they will probably continue to do so also in the coming years. The relationship between the European Union and Russia is important because they share a geography. Russia is also a European country, and it is important for our European Union to maintain good relationships and good relations with Russia. But at the current state, with the EU side, only focusing on imposing sanctions against Russia and criticizing Russia, the Russians on its side feel that the European Union is very one-sided. At the same time, when Joseph Borrell was acting foreign minister of Spain back in 2019, he was criticized because a lot of protesters were then arrested during Catalonian protests. And right now, with the rapper Pablo Hassel being arrested in Spain, there are more protests also on the streets of Barcelona and other cities in Spain. And again, the Russian side is also criticizing Joseph Borrell for double standards. So I think there are going to be increasing criticism going both ways. And in the future, we may also see the European Union imposing other sanctions against Russia. And this is just going to continue to drive the relationship in a negative direction. At the current moment, it seems difficult for the European Union to build any positive or any stronger relations with Russia. And this is happening at the backdrop of a, of a very critical pandemic. I mean, the coronavirus pandemic now is going into its second year soon and probably going to continue throughout this year and also into next year. So while a pandemic is ongoing, the European Union is imposing sanctions against Russia. And this is just creating an, a new stronger feeling and sense of a negative relationship between the European Un Union and Russia. So I think we need to monitor this and continue focusing on where is the European Union and Russia going to go in the future. But if the European Union continues to impose sanctions on Russia and only criticizing Russia, I think it's going to be difficult from the Russian side and from Moscow to see the European Union as a constructive partner. And therefore, I think they will strengthen their focus towards Asia and China. Thank you for joining and see you next week.